a really rather exciting day for me today, for it is new laptop day for me. Now, this is, um, believe it or not, the first new laptop I've had since 2009. Um, I got myself a new MacBook to go away to university with. I had that for a number of years, um, coming on to 2015, I think, 2016. And it eventually just completely died. Um, it had been painfully slow to use for quite some time. Uh, and then one day it just wouldn't turn on and that was the end of that. Um, I then went back to Windows. First Windows I'd had since, uh, well, in a number of years, I think, before getting my current laptop. Um, I'd been on Windows XP. That's how long it had been. Um, so yeah, I went back to Windows. I got myself a, um, a second-hand model from CEX in perfectly good condition, grade A, um, but it, it was sort of already five years old when I got it. And I've had that since 2016. So that in itself is getting on for you know six years in my ownership, plus the five, you know, it's an 11 year old laptop. It still works. It still does mainly what I need it to. I work from home. Um, it handles the uh, remote connections to my work fairly well. But there are times when it starts to show its age. The battery in it is completely useless, so it's not really a laptop anymore. It has to be plugged in on my desk for it to be of any good. Um, there's been a few instances I have a, a second monitor plugged into it. Um, that will just go black randomly for a few seconds, then come back or occasionally flicker. Bit of research and taking a bit of advice on it. It looks like that might be early motherboard failure. And there's a few other little niggles with it. Um, it's one of the USB ports. If it's not in at the right angle or if you jiggle the wire, it will disconnect and, and reconnect. It's almost like there's a, a dry joint or you know, a bit of a bad circuit in there. Not exactly ideal. And the other USB port, uh, for some reason, doesn't like having, having my mouse plugged into it. Sort of it, you know, once or twice an hour, the uh, the USB mouse just stops working. I have to unplug it and plug it back in. Um, so, yeah, it, it's starting to show its age. And whilst it's still perfectly useful, I could probably keep going for, for a long time yet with it. There are some things, like I'm starting to do more video editing now, and it's it's quite obvious that I'm starting to overtax it. It's a good office laptop. I do a lot of writing on it, or I have been doing a lot of writing on it, so things like Word documents, you know, a normal work use. It's perfectly fine, browsing the web, but it does show its age sometimes. You know, things like, it, it seems to take a long time just to fire up Chrome, which it shouldn't be doing, really. Um, and you know, other things, if I tap the CD drive on it, it will randomly eject. Shouldn't really be doing that. Um, so yeah, it's showing its age, it still works, and it'll probably keep working for some time, but I thought, yeah, time for a new one on that before things get too bad with it. Like I say, I need it for work, so I need to be, I need to keep it going. So it was my birthday recently. I thought, screw it, I want a new laptop, so I bought myself one. First new laptop since, like I said, 2009. So here it is, it's just arrived uh, via courier, via DPD. Um, I bought it via uh, PC World or Courier's PC World. I did a lot of shopping around for my budgets. Um, they were pretty much spot on on price. You're talking about you know, saving 10, 20 quid here or there. I think the biggest saving that I could make was um, through an American website for this same spec of laptop. And from dollars into pounds, it saved me 50 quid, but it, it didn't really work out for me. I would have to have waited ages for it to arrive and ended up having to take out credit agreements in America to get it. And oh, I just, oh, just, it's not worth it. So for what it was worth, I just ordered it from Curry's PC World. And to be fair to them, I'll just check my emails. I ordered it at 6.03 p.m. on the Friday night, and it's just arrived at 1 in the afternoon on the Saturday. So I can't complain about their delivery time. So here we go. Like I say, it's just arrived. So let's open it up and see what we get. I'm going to feel rather silly if this turns out not to be what I ordered. Now that I'll just be jabbering on about it. It looks to be one. There's the Acer logo. I've ordered an Acer Nitro gaming laptop. 
the reason I went with a gaming laptop, you know, there's the box. Not because I consider myself a gamer. The most complicated PC game I play most of the time is Age of Empires 2. I've been playing that since I was about eight years old. Cracking game. Well, that, um, but no, I went for gaming one, partly because of the video editing. It's quite obvious that I was overtaxing my normal laptop. And because I wanted something that would give me a bit of longevity, wouldn't be out of date you know, within a few months. So I went with something a bit of a higher spec. thought I'd go with one of these. Didn't go with a desktop because I just don't have the budget to be buying new monitors and all the, all the peripheries and accessories that go with it. So I just went with a laptop. It suits me better. So here it is. And it has arrived. See? There's a nice little handle on the top. That's all there is to it, really. Check contents if seal is broken. Well, the seal isn't broken, and the box is in remarkably good nick. So I've gone with this. Let's see what's, uh, what's inside the box. This is a very exciting time. First laptop since 2009. This would appear to be the main laptop. It's packaged in this uh, type of polystyrene, I'm not sure what it's called. That nice shock absorbent stuff, that's good. And this box and this and this is the charger. Yep, there's the charger. There's the transformer, a bit plugged into the laptop, and a bit plugged into the wall. I'm not sure what that is. HDD upgrade cable. Okay. Uh, right, come back to that. What's this? HDD upgrade screw. Okay. So I suppose I didn't mention that when I was ordering it, but fine. The hard drive, and this is a uh, 256 gigabyte uh, SSD solid state drive. Not as big as my last one. My current laptop has a terabyte hard drive in it. Although, to be fair, I haven't used even half of that. Um, there was a 512 gigabyte one that I was trying to get. Um, I was in um, in town just yesterday, so I went into one of their stores looking to order one, and they didn't have one, even though it said they did on the website. When I went to try and order it through the website, it then let me get all the way to the end. I went, oh, sorry, it's out of stock. So we went with this one, which was slightly more expensive, about another 30 quid. Similar specs, slightly higher, um, uh, slightly higher specs, apart from the hard drive, which is smaller. But yeah, I, I don't need that much space. If I find myself running out, I've got about four external hard drives um, lying around. I've got three to four terabytes worth of external hard drive lying around the house that I never use. So. Yeah, storage won't be an issue. And I also have my um, my Google Cloud storage, my Google Drive, um, which does a good job. So let's open this out and start it in. This is some sort of felt carry bag. I'm just meant to protect it from scratches. It's not a long-term storage solution. If I pull on it too hard, it will probably rip. It's obviously just meant for scratch protection. And there it is, the Acer Nitro. So, looks pretty much exactly as it did on the website. As with all gaming laptops, it's got its 
with vents on the back and it's always red and black styling with these. My current one is a nice white styling with black keys on the keyboard, very office like, very professional looking. The gaming ones, they always seem to be black and red. Not that I dislike it, it's just sometimes when I take something different, but you know, whatever. So, we shall open this up, I'll put it up at an angle so you can see. There we go. Another bit of protective felt in there. And there she is. Hopefully you can see that. And there it is. The Acer Nitro. Built-in graphics card. I'll leave the full specs in the description if anyone's interested. Um, that is exactly what I wanted. I like having number pads in my keyboards. Um, I use that a lot when I'm working. Um, so if it didn't have that, you'd be surprised at the inconvenience it is. It sounds petty, but if you have a keyboard that doesn't have this and you're having to use these numbers along the top, it can be a real pain in the ass because it, I, I have to work quickly. Uh, on that, so you know, I'm, I'm blasting through my work on that, so yeah, that's that's certainly good. And of course, as with any laptop, they've raised the WAS and D keys and given this extra bit of highlighting. Same here, not entirely sure what this button's for, it just says N on it. I suppose I'll find out, I should probably read the instructions. So, there it is. I'm rather fond of the styling on this. I like the way here as Acer and then it says Nitro if you can see that and when it's closed you can still see it. So there it is. It's got good connectivity down the side. It's got my two USB ports, Ethernet, and headphones and I've got another USB port, HDMI oh, and a micro USB port. Sorry, no, that's Type-C USB on that one, so I didn't expect that, that wasn't in the specs either. And of course, I don't know if you can see them under these vents here, two big cooling fans, because, well, of course, it's a gaming laptop. So, yeah, quite impressed with that. Have a quick look at the rest of it. This is nothing special. Cable, of course, transformer, plug that into there. That's all there is. And there's this thing. I'm guessing this is if you ever need to upgrade the hard drive on it. I didn't even think about that. I suppose I could. Sounds a bit too much like hard work. You get the feeling that's going to end up in a drawer. Can't see me upgrading the hard drive on it. I'm not one for fiddling with things. I used to be. I used to build my own computers back in the day, but I just, I just ain't got the time or the patience for it now. And the other two things in the box. Instruction manual. Acer Nitro setup guide. Give that a look in a bit. How to plug the power in, of course. So, looks like it's pretty much plug it in, turn it on. That, that is pretty much what it says. Plug it in, make sure you get the plug in the right way, and all the way in, press the power button. That's how you turn it on. Okay, I think I could figure that out on my own. And then there's this. Oh, this is the warranty guide. I'll open that in a minute. I will register the warranty with this. I didn't bother to buy the um, insurance that they're always peddling. Um, not that I think it's a bad product, but truth be told, I work for an insurance company that does gadget insurance. So I'll just get it through work. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, and on the back we get these, are they stickers? Good luck, gamer. Planet Nine. Mm. So I don't think I really want to put them all over my new laptop, but you know, some people might want to. Planet Nine.gg. Shows how out of touch I am. I have no idea what that is. 
So yeah, that's what's in the box. It's a Nitro gaming laptop. Not the most expensive, just about within budget for me. And it should be perfect for my needs. Uh, it should last me a decent length of time as well. So, and anyone who knows me knows, yes, there are more expensive things, and yes, they probably are a bit better, but I've just never viewed the most expensive kit as being necessary. If you'd see any of my other videos, um, or if you ever meet me in person, none of my kit is the most expensive thing on the market. I've never believed it necessary. If you say, if I go shooting, all of my guns, you know, most of them are second hand, and you know, even my main rifle, um, that's second hand, and it's a budget Springer. And you know what? If you practice with something like that, you can be just as good with it as as the as the tarts that turn up with the the most expensive gear. Um, I don't believe it's necessary. At least not. There are instances when going for the top notch stuff works, but you know, for what I needed, it this is perfect. So yeah, we shall go away. We'll um, get this started up. Um, so we're going to cut for now. I'm going to uh, swig my tea a bit. We'll get this powered up and charged. And then we'll watch the first ever startup sequence for him. Alright, so we've uh, come upstairs to my, well, we call it, uh, sometimes I call it the study. Um, this is my desk, I do a lot of my work, so you could call it the office. Um, but I've also got my entire book collection and a lot of other hobby related material in here, so I tend to call it the study. Um, I've put it where it's gonna spend most of its life, the new laptop, on this uh, stand that I use, just helps raise it up slightly, makes it easier to type on if you're using that. I do have a wireless keyboard that normally sits here and of course I've got my USB mouse as well I haven't plugged any of that in as yet I'm just gonna see how it goes just on its own the only, only thing plugged in at the moment obviously is the power cable um, I don't know if I'll be using this straight away on Monday for work I may end up going back to my old laptop whilst I get everything working on this there's a lot of software I need to move over um, and uh, I've got to find some way of moving about three to four hundred gigabytes of um, personal files across as well. Um, I'll get to that in a minute though. But no, for now, we've come up, we've plugged it in. I don't know if you can see just here. Let the orange light has come on. See, it's plugged in and charging. So, first turn on, let's see how we go with it then. It's already got frigging dog hair on it, Jesus Christ. All right. Power light has come on. Keyboard has lit up. It's very quiet. This is actually the first computer I've had. Well, I have an, uh, I do have another MacBook actually that's got a solid state drive. But even that manages to make noise on start. This is completely silent because there's no disc for it to spin. One thing I did notice as I was um, plugging this in. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Oh, okay. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. I never if you need Katana. an assistive screen reader, press the windows, control and enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to United Kingdom. Is that correct? I'd say yes. Okay. Your keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Would you like to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Skip. Now, 
let's get you connected to a network. That way, you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Would you like to use that one? No, that's my printer. Don't connect to that. Okay, how about this next one on the list? Yes, that one. Yes. Now, type your credentials. So I've cut out the bit here where I uh, scramble to find my Wi-Fi password and then put it in wrong and have to start all over again because it's boring and nobody wants to see that. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Okay, next. Now we have some important setting up to do. Oh, okay. Sit back and relax while we work our magic. Uh, okay. Please don't turn off your device. Why would I do that? things up. I can see that. Please don't turn off your device. Uh, I wasn't planning to. You've already told me that. Your computer will restart before you continue. Okay. Well, anyway, as I was saying before this thing started jabbering away at me, which, by the way, is actually pretty cool. You know, I can just talk to it to set it up. I did notice that uh, that little bit of cable that came for expanding or replacing the hard drive. I initially thought that was you take the original hard drive out and put another one in. That just says on this little sticker here, there's available slots for two SSD drives and one HDD drive. Um, which is quite handy. You know, tell me you can get up to three Next hard up, drives in the legal thing. stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no windows. Oh. Well, well that's, that's not much of a choice, really, is it, I suppose? Well, of course, I'm going to read through this in full, in the same way that everyone else reads these things in full. And I'll just click Accept. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Oh, like my Windows account or my Microsoft account. Never use it. Uh, Alright, I think it's this. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you my email and password or username and password. That would just be daft. I was thinking about that. But yeah. We've got this expansion slot here. Want to set up a pin? Alright, sure, let's create a pin. I prefer passwords, but... Whatever. Right. No, you don't get to see my pin number either. Yeah, anyway, I found out what this N button does. Apparently it's the Nitro Sense now, button. Now, choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with directions, weather and more. No, no, I don't need to use my location. I never really use the Microsoft stuff. Bit of a Google fanboy, really. And if you ever lose your device, here is where you get to choose if you want help finding it. Oh, right, well, I find my device. Next, choose whether or not you want to help Microsoft diagnose and fix issues. Well, that would be handy. I mean, I'm hoping there's not going to be any issues, but yeah, whatever. 
And if you want to help improve language recognition and suggestions for apps and services that run on Windows, you can choose to do that here. If you want tips, offers and suggestions that are tailored to you, just select accept. No, I don't want tips and such like. No, I just want the damn thing to work. So, but yeah, anyway, as I said, I still have no idea what Nitro Sense is. Again, none of this was actually mentioned on the, the website when I bought it. I mean, I'm happy it's there, but I mean, you know, getting things that you weren't expecting is pretty cool. No idea what it actually does. Um, it also says cool boost. I don't know if that makes me cooler. It's a bit of a tall ask for my laptop, but you know, I'll give it a go. Finally, for these settings, choose whether or not you want your ads to be more relevant to you. Um, no, well, sod your ads, bugger off. Based on the activities you choose here, you will get a personalized experience as you set up your device. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, all right, let's go with. I do with our app. Uh, I mean, Age of Empires 2, I suppose that counts as gaming. Creativity, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we do a lot of that. Family members, uh, no, I can just ring them. Take notes, write essay, and collaborate on projects. What's well, not school use? But I do do that. I do do a lot of writing and such like. Oh, I will leave it. It's not like I'm actually losing any features, it's just gonna like recommend shit to me. We can work some magic so you can use your Android phone from your PC. Make calls, send text messages, use your mobile apps, and more. If this sounds useful, We'll send you a reminder to finish setting up the your phone app. Now I did give this a go on my last laptop, but it, it didn't seem to work properly. But then again, that laptop was on its last legs, so I'll, yeah, I'll like remind later. Not doing it right now. Just want to use my damn laptop. Want to automatically save files and photos to OneDrive for some added peace of mind? No. Your PC comes with a free one month trial of Microsoft 365 family. Should we get it ready for you to use? Okay. Yes. I haven't used Microsoft Office in years. Okay, here's where you add your credit card details. Mm, no. Your PC comes with a free one month trial of Microsoft 365 family. I'm not adding my credit Should... card right now. I'll do that later. With Xbox Game Pass, you can play a library of games right on your PC. Would you like to join? No. Hey, look, on, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Yes. Your device manufacturer would like your contact details to send you updates and helpful info. Okay. Fine. Same again. Personal information. You ain't having it. So many offers. I don't want offers. Uh, I don't really want you sharing that air either. No, I don't do any of this crap. What's new from Windows? All right. The next version of Windows is ready for you to download and install. Whenever you're ready, select upgrade and we'll download it in the background while you continue setting up. Now that's something I was hoping for actually. I mean I did do a bit of research and said this was Windows 11 compatible, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with Windows 10 for now. I've been using it for a good few years, but I'm quite happy about that. All right, let's just get it. Uh, 
download a few minutes after you reach your desktop. We'll let you know when it's time to do it. Oh, okay. Come to that later. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. You may well be looking forward to it, Katana, but I'm probably just going to turn you off as soon as I get the chance. This might take several minutes. Oh, I certainly won't, but... Now, it didn't take several minutes, it actually took exactly one minute to do, but I decided to cut it out anyway because, well, you didn't come here to watch me stare at a blue screen and jabber for a bit about how good the screen is. It's a good screen, but I've just left that bit out because, well, it's boring. Almost there. Hmm. No, I wasn't expecting that. That's interesting. That is my wallpaper on my old laptop. So clearly some of the information is transferable across. Be interesting to see what else it's pulled across. I mean, this looks to be good to go now. Oh, I've got all this. Here. Killer control center. Mm -hmm. Nvidia control panel. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff in here I'm probably going to get rid of. I haven't used Skype in years. I don't know anyone who does use Skype. Planet 9 link. see me using most of this I have Facebook Messenger built in Express VPN comes with it I didn't ask for any of this I'll download if I need it All right. of course there's nothing in recent files this PC no of course there's nothing actually in here Even just going through these, it is faster. All right, so there it is. There is the uh, the the start up of it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Use Cortana to set it up. It's supposed to be downloading Windows 11 in the background. I might make another video if and when that finally updates to itself. Looks like there's a fair bit of. I suppose you could call it bloatware. It comes ready installed. What's that? Dropbox promotion. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I can't see using half of this crap. So, but yeah, there it is. Starting up. It's looking good. So I've now got probably a day, maybe more, of trying to transfer my files onto it, get everything else working. Um, but I think this is going to be good. So we'll call that it for now on the video, and I think I'll maybe add some more a bit later. Okay, so uh, one last thing uh, before we go, I just thought uh, I'd show you this. Um, so I've spent, uh, how long have I been at this now? Uh, about three hours or so. Um, just uh, downloading all the applications again that I have on my old laptop that I want to keep using um, and uh, transferring um, all of my files onto an external hard drive and then the ones that I want on my new laptop are now on there and that's so that's everything on uh, the big thing as well is it as you saw earlier it almost immediately prompted me you know, do you want Windows 11 I said yes, it's downloaded that and installed it, um, it took it I don't know, two minutes to do that and when it comes up and it says you need to restart, it took it literally two minutes. I've just shut it down briefly, um, so that, I, um, well, 
I should now, just to see what it's like to start up from. Um, so far, it seems to be running Windows 11 pretty seamlessly. Um, it is different um, from Windows 10, I'll give it that. Um, a few bits it might take some getting used to, but other than that, it seems pretty good. I just want to show you this, because this I thought was quite impressive. My old laptop used to take ages to start up. Um, there's been times when I've actually been late for work before because I'm sat there waiting for it to boot up. Um, but this one, press the power button. You get the Acer logo. And there it is, ready to log on. Put my pin in and it's on. I have never had a computer that boots up that fast. I've had computers that can't even come out of standby that fast or exit their own screensavers that fast. So, yeah, pretty impressed with this so far. It's doing really well. Um, so, yeah, I've just got a few more bits I need to sort out on it, but I am pretty damned impressed with the, uh, with the Acer Nitro 5 so far. Alright, so one last thing about this, because um, I'm sure you're probably getting a bit sick of me parroting on about my new laptop. Um, but this just goes to show the sort of difference it can make. This is a video project that I started on last year. My last laptop just would not export it. It'd get part way through, not even that far through it, and would get stuck. And even when it was working, it would take hours. Hours and hours of waiting for it to export. Half of the time I'd set it going, go to bed and check on it in the morning to find that it failed. Um, or I'd set it going in the morning and come back late in the afternoon and it's still trying to export. Whereas this has just finished an hour and 20 minute project. I don't know if you can see it there. In 23 minutes. That is pretty damn impressive. It just mullered through it. The CPU and the GPU just got going and have eaten this so yeah i'll leave it at that no more talking about it but i'm really impressed with this